Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 113 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to tell you a way that you could zoom into your image, then systematically search the image. Now, typically, you're going to search the image for sensor spots or dust on the lens, or in the case of this image, in this day, there was a midge fly hatch, and the midge flies were photobombing all my shots, and they're all over the place and I need to remove them. And it's easy to do. You guys probably know, you could just click on the image, right? And you could drag around. And in this case, I find all these midge flies and I could just, you know, zap them away with the spot removal tool. Invariably for me, what I've found is I think I got them all and I'll zoom out and I kind of didn't look anymore and I'll export it. And then in my export, I see that one's really obvious and I missed a sensor spot or a midge fly in this case or something. Well, there's got to be a better way that you could systematically search your image for anything. It could be noise, it could be sensor spots. What you need to do is a multi-step process, but it's really easy and it's slightly different if you have a PC or a Mac. So step one for whether you own the PC or Mac is just click on the image to zoom in. That's step one. You could click anywhere in the image, it doesn't matter. Now, if you have a PC, hit the home button. Those of you that have a Mac know that your keyboard does not have a home button. So for those of us, we need to hold the function key in, then hit the left arrow key. And you'll notice as soon as you PC people hit the home button or the Mac people like me hold held that function key in and hit that left arrow key, the image repositioned to the top left hand corner. Now I'm zoomed in so I could, you know, do my spot removal and remove all these spots. Now, I'm not going to do it here to save time. Now, you want to systematically work through the image. For you PC people, all you need to do is hit the page down key. Now, again, us Mac users don't have a page down key on our keyboard. So we need to hold that function key in again and hit the down arrow key. And you'll see that image just move down the column. Now I could go into this section of the image and remove all these spots. Again, to move further through the image, PC people, just hit that page down button again. Us Mac uh, users hold that function key and hit that down arrow key. And we're down and I could remove spots here. Again, hit page down again for those of you that use PCs. I'll hold that function key in and hit that down arrow again because I have the Mac and now it's all the way to the bottom. Now, the next step is going to be counterintuitive. Those of you that have a PC, just hit the page down button again. And those of us that have Macs, just hold that function key in and hold and press in that down arrow key again. And you'll see the entire image moved up to the top and over to the right one column. I could remove the spots here. And really, to continue on through the image, all you have to do, those of you that have a PC, just keep hitting the page down key. And those of us that have Macs, we'll just keep holding in that function uh, key and then hitting the down arrow key. And we'll go right through the image, uh, top to bottom, left to right. And then when we reach the end, you could hit that page down key or hold the function key in while hitting the down arrow key and nothing will happen. That means you're done. You've covered every single pixel in the image. And when you are done, just click on the image again and you'll zoom back out. So that's a way you could systematically work through the image, basically part by part and not miss any part of the image. And you'll be able to remove all those sensor spots or dust or midge flies or whatever. So that's it for episode 113. Thank you everyone that watches my videos and I just like to ask if you have the time there's you'll see an I the letter I in the type, top right hand corner of this video. If you'll click on that you'll be taken to my website and you'll get some info on how you could help me make better free photography how to videos. All my videos are free because of many kind people help me and there's many different ways you could help me out. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.